So my lease ended a couple months ago. I saw that as an opportunity for me to do something for myself and for me to just kind of venture out and just uh, live my life according to how I really want to live it. And it's amazing how, you know, this sense of freedom seemed like a luxury to some people, seemed like a privilege to some people. But something I realized is that sometimes freedom is in front of our doorstep and it's knocking. And sometimes we open that door and we don't see it. We just see it as a threat. We think somebody is playing around with us. Um, when freedom came knocking on my doorstep, I saw it as something that is a threat to my, my future. It comes in many disguise. I was very stressed over it, but then when I realized that, oh my gosh, what am I stressed about? I'm giving this opportunity, this space to do something for myself. When I was going through my depression stage, you know, I stopped everything. Um, so the momentum of my business really, really slowed down. On top of that, you know, COVID happened. And so to me, that was uncertainty. And I wasn't sure how I was going to financially take care of myself in the future. And I was just really focused on the problem, not the solution and also I was in survival mode because that was what I was so used to. I was so trained to have that mentality of always trying to stay productive, always having to have a plan, always needing to feel control of my outcome and so I was just in stress mode um, but then when I come to think of it I'm like wait a minute I don't have any debt. Uh, all my credit cards can be paid off for I don't have any crazy bills. My lease was coming to an end and it was time that my son lived with his dad for the time being since he lived with me last year. And so I kind of like took a step back and see it as an opportunity. Like, oh my gosh, I am being given this opportunity, this freedom to kind of do something for myself, to do something that I really want to do. You know, although I don't know what is to come for me in the future or I don't know how I'm going to do stuff in the future. I'm learning to let go of that. That mindset has been so stressful for me. It's been creating so much anxiety of always needing to know what to do, always having to have a plan, you know, that A type mentality. And so I, I'm unlearning to relearn something new for myself, to create new habits for myself of just easing my way into life and to just live life more intentionally. Currently, home to me is where I feel most comfortable and what I make of it. Right now, I don't have a apartment or a house. I'm just doing this nomadic lifestyle for a couple months or maybe a couple weeks. I'm not sure. I'm just going with the flow of things. I don't have an official or formal set of plan, which is really crazy because if somebody was to you know bring this idea up to me a year ago i would just not even entertain that thought <laughs> so it's amazing how someone can change in a course of one year i've been doing life in a more difficult way when in fact there is a smarter way to live life and so i want to experiment with that. I want to seek that out and I want to see where that can lead me. I might be wrong. I don't know, but I think it's worth giving a try. It's worth putting in some effort. And so here I am doing something out of my norm, doing something a little bit crazy. I mean, I've seen people do things crazier. Life is not very linear as we think it is. You know, it's all over the place. Sometimes we fall back into our old habits. Sometimes we uh, go up, sometimes we go down, sometimes we go in, we go out. And it's all, you know, it's all around. It's not linear whatsoever. And so, um, you know, when I was able to kind of go with the flow in my life, things start to synchronize for me. So in the last few months, I've been so focused on just selling all of my big bulky furniture and minimizing my life as much as I can. And um, my whole journey on seeking minimalism, I did a mini little series on that, uh, was a big part of this synchronicity, you know, in my life that I was able to um, unveil and kind of like look at and see how it brought me to where I am today. Um, that mentality opened up a whole new space for me. It helped me open up my mind. I remember years and years ago, I went on a hiking camping trip in Machu Picchu. It was on the Inca Trail. And I, after that trip, I 
swore to myself that I would never camp or hike again and that I hate it camping and hiking. It was an awful, awful experience. And so I kind of closed myself to that idea. Um, but ever since, you know, during COVID, I started taking a liking to hiking again. That's with me wanting to minimize the things in my life that make me feel so cluttered, kind of opened a whole new space, a whole new portal for me. And because of that, I was able to become more open-minded to just living with things that serve me. So things that are more essential. Um, I sold my Tesla and I got an SUV, a hybrid SUV. So that way I can do a little bit more traveling. And after I was able to like pack all my stuff and uh, move the rest into a storage space, I took my essentials and I packed that into my SUV. My boyfriend wanted to venture out to this little adventure with me for one month since he has to go back to work um, after that. And so we both packed our trucks and uh, we ventured out without a formal plan. Um, so in my mind, I kind of romanticized that I was going to find these picturesque, beautiful camping spots uh, near a lake, you know, with a scenic view, have my lunch there uh, and, you know, have dinner by the campfire every night. And <laughs> that kind of did happen. Um, so, you know, the first couple of nights we did that, it was fun. We found a beautiful spot. Uh, near a river, but then seasonal allergies like really hit me hard like I Since I've been in California in the past few years the weather's been nice and I, I didn't get really bad allergies living there but I was out here in Arizona and um, I don't know that seasonal the spring allergies the sp spring pollen or whatever is in the air really really wrecked me up <laughs> and on top of that um, my boyfriend's truck, something was wrong with it. And so we had to find a place to get it fixed and a place to stay while we need to get it fixed. And so we had to go into the city for that. And we ended up going to his brother's place to stay. When we got to his brother's house, it was the opposite of everything I hoped for. I guess I set an expectation for myself and it didn't turn out that way because of the allergies. And then here we are at his brother's house um, who has a whole bunch of dogs and they got really excited whenever we're around and so they would bark a lot. So his brother was away and then he had his mother-in-law to stay and help him watch the dogs uh, for the time being. She happened to also have a home of her own, which was a little bit out of town. And she hasn't been living there for over a month since she's been watching and taking care of the dogs. So as a solution to keep the dogs from barking so much, she offered her home to us and for us to also house sit and take care of her place. And so that's where I am right now today. And it's been just working out, you know, although I didn't get my romanticized idea of camping, things are working out in my favor if I just allow myself to view it in a different perspective. You know, I could have just focused on the series of unfortunate events and just feel sorry for myself, but I was able to get out of that mindset and mentality and just see how things were synchronizing and working in my favor, just like with my freedom. You know, some people would have viewed it as a curse or would have viewed it or just stayed in that space of like, being worried, being afraid and not knowing, you know, an outcome. Whereas I was able to kind of take myself out of that and see it as an opportunity to do something that I've been wanting to do to venture out and try something new. You know, it's all in the perspective that we give ourselves. And something that I have been integrating into my life is this Tao philosophy. And with the Tao philosophy, it's about going with the flow of life because whatever you do and whatever happens, everything in this universe will still happen with or without you and regardless of what you choose to do. So if you choose to live life the harder way, the more complicated way, life will still flow. There will still be this uh, 
this opportunity of doing it the easier way. You know, it's almost like a river stream. You know, it's still going to flow no matter what. And if you want to grab onto a branch, if you want to grab onto a rock, if you want to try and swim, you know, against the current, the river will still flow no matter what. So you can either try to swim upstream and just keep on trying, keep on trying, or you can focus on the solutions, you can focus on your blessings, you can focus on the beauty in life and just flow down that river and just you know take in the sceneries and kind of like enjoy the feeling of the water. Now, it, it's so easy for us to go back to that old mentality and I have several times, but when I come back to thinking about the flow of life, the Tao philosophy. It has helped me in my life tremendously in just seeing life in a more expansive and exponential way than just to see it as this comfort bubble that I am I, I am yearning for. You know, we always try to work towards this comfort zone, this comfort bubble. And once we think we have it, we stay in there. And it just blocks us from all possibilities of other things that may happen to you. I have always been a spiritual person. I love to explore my my spirituality, you know, go in internally and dig deep as much as I can. To me, religion teaches you the way. It's a great foundation. It's a great starting point for people who want to explore more than what's in this external life. But spirituality shows me the way and it is my experience. It is me living it. It is me like being in it and doing it. And that's something that I've always lived by is to see how much I can evolve. I feel like life's purpose in my book is that it's here for us to learn and it's here for us to expand ourselves. And this is an opportunity for us to kind of do that. And when we do that, we're going to face the duality and polarity that comes with it, you know? And so the challenges will have a beauty, a beautiful outcome and it's going to be constant. And that's something that is part of the learning, the spiritual experience. You know, I thought that being alone was going to be a lot easier. Um, because I've been yearning and I've been craving for some personal space since uh, last year during quarantine, we were just kind of all crammed into a home and personal space was really, really hard to come across. I think that I, I, I don't think that I even got any personal space at all. And so I thought this was going to be easy for me, but once my boyfriend left, I was just like, it felt sad, you know, it felt like uh, a void. I started to hike more and I started to feel the sense of freedom that I kind of just talked about but never really felt. And just walking by myself, being alone on the path and just seeing the beauty around me, I felt this immense feeling of, of gratitude. It felt amazing. And so I've been hiking more and I've been pushing myself a little farther to see like how much I can do. I always felt like I wasn't a good hiker because I was always the slow person in the group. I've been training myself and pushing myself a little bit farther each time and I've been learning a lot more about how much I can do and I'm so proud of myself. I've just been loving my space. I've been really enjoying this. I made myself a nice bowl of salsa the other night and it's so delicious. I bought some fresh mangoes, um, bought some lime. I got some cilantro, some tomatoes, and I just chopped them all together. I took my salsa outside and just sat in front of the pool, look out into the sky and just enjoy the nice delicious bowl of salsa that I made for myself. And it was just a really nice feeling to treat myself to something so delicious and just enjoy my time. You know, now when I start talking to people that I used to hang out with before, I notice how much I've changed because they're still within that mindset, the same mindset, the same mentality. And although it does seem a little bit judgmental, I was able to use that judgment in order to kind of see the difference between myself before and myself today. Before I would hang out with people and I really didn't enjoy my time or con the conversations that I had, but now I, you know, I wouldn't make the effort 
unless I really want to do something. And therefore, I'm more authentic and truthful and honest to myself. I'm learning how to be more honest with myself. And that's something that I notice a lot of people struggle with as well. Because I was able to recognize this newfound freedom in my life and just embrace it, I was also susceptible and open to change. Change is something that we need to want in order for us to take some action and to do something about it. And I think that it takes a while to recognize that, okay, I'm in a place that doesn't serve me. I'm ready for something different. I'm ready to do something different. And change is always going to be scary, but it takes some awareness. It takes some recognizing and it takes some intentional practices to get yourself out of that old mentality and into a new way of thinking. Something that I love about social media is that we can connect with other people from around the world or people that we will never uh, get a chance to physically meet. But um, I love seeing how other people perceive or live out their journey. And, you know, social media can be overly edited, but I just basically take in what resonates with me at the moment and use my instinct to see the authenticity in people. That's why I'm making these content and I hope that you enjoy it. So thank you so much for your support. If you do like it, um, thumbs up would always be great. I would appreciate that. Um, other than that, thank you all so much for watching toward the end of this video. I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Ciao!